vignette introduces the River Bathymetry Toolkit, or RBT, a software tool at the center of CHAMP for measuring streams using a digital elevation model. So within the CHAMP program, crews capture the topography in and around streams using a series of smart points. These points are then converted into a digital elevation model, a raster representation of the elevation in and around the channel. The codes of the points can also be used, so here I'm showing the uh, left edge of water in blue and the right edge of water in red. So this represents the stage at which crews observe water in this channel. They capture other interesting points as well. So here shown in green are the bankful elevations representing the one and a half year flood frequency for this channel. The first thing that the River Bathymetry Toolkit does is to uh, detrend the digital elevation model. And it does this by uh, fitting a relationship through the loss of elevation as you move downstream through the digital elevation model. And then it flattens out the channel uh, to produce an artificially flat channel, but maintains the high frequency elevation features in the channel. So you can see here, both in the upstream and the downstream, you've got a, essentially the same elevation intensity um, upstream and downstream. So this is a flattened channel. And the reason we do this is that uh, crews are then able to flood the channel to different uh, water stages. So here this is an animation showing crews actually using a slider to raise or lower the water level um, to look at different features in the channel. So you see as the water elevations dropped here, you get down to essentially just the pools, the deepest parts of the channel. But then as the water level is raised, uh, you flood into this backwater. And what crews are trying to do in this instance is actually find the bankful elevation. So they're trying to find where does this uh, flooded water stage go through this one and a half year flood frequency. And once they found the elevation that they're looking for, they can then export the flooded area as a polygon. And this is important because it allows the River Bathymetry Toolkit to model different water stages, not just the one observed uh, when the crews visited. So uh, this would enable, enable the CHAMP program to be able to perform habitat analysis um, during extremely dry seasons and at small increments all the way through to extremely wet seasons as well. The River Bathymetry Toolkit also lays out a thalweg. Uh, this is uh, basically a line that goes through the deepest sections of the channel going through the pools um, and uh, following the kind of fastest flow of the channel. Uh, this line is then used to find residual depth and another series of uh, channel metrics um, related to uh, deep, deep sections of the channel. The center line is found by using uh, T's and polygons to find the midpoint between the left and right water's edge. This center line is extremely important because it's then the basis that we lay out cross sections across the channel. All cross sections are perpendicular to this center line. Um, we lay out two sets of cross sections. Shown here are the ones that extend to the water extent polygon. These are used um, to drop vertical elevation points into the DEM at 10 centimeter increments to obtain a vast uh, detailed description of elevation change within the channel. So from this we can get uh, average cross-section width, uh, average depth, max depth, and we can do this on a massively intensive scale that would not be possible with just doing transect based monitoring. Uh, we can actually course out and select um, a subset of these cross-sections to uh, mimic and reproduce other uh, transect based uh, protocols but using these high resolution uh, cross sections, we can also get a much gr more granular picture of uh, the elevation, the, the habitat in the channel. In 2014, we're going to be uh, putting uh, center lines and cross sections down side channels and into backwaters so that we get uh, better representation of these additional flow features. The River Bathymetry Toolkit also incorporates a geomorphic change detection analysis. So given two visits in time, we're able to subtract those two visits, uh, basically do a simple mathematical subtraction of the elevation surface at those two points in time. And here, shown in red, are areas that decreased in elevation over time, so essentially they were erosion. And shown in blue are depositional areas um, where the elevation surface uh, went up over time. 
but some of the ele some of the elevation change here is small and also in areas of uncertain elevation so we need to account for that uncertainty and we can actually uh, filter out um, the elevation change map to find just those significant areas that we uh, trust where the elevation is real so here you see some erosion on the inside of this bend and some deposition on the outside of the bend so the river bathymetry toolkit and geomorphic change detection tools produce a, s a slew of metrics uh, shown here on the left are just some of the uh, more traditional uh, channel based metrics such as wedded width, site length, sinuosity um, uh, some information based off of the thaweg using pool tail crest depth etc. Uh, this is just some of the metrics, there's a, a large number uh, produced by the RBT. In the center of this list are some, produ some of the metrics produced around uh, the channel units connect collected by crews such as the areas of tier 1 and tier 2, the volume, the count, the frequency and spacing. Um, we also look at the uh, max depth of any channel unit as well as its depth at the most downstream point um, for the Thalweg exit. We do that uh, for every individual channel unit and then we also roll them up by type as well. So at a site basis uh, for each channel unit type in tier 1 and tier 2, what are the same metrics? And finally, uh, we produce a series of metrics uh, related to the geomorphic change detection such as the raw area of erosion raw air, and then we threshold that based on uncertainty to produce a thresholded area of erosion. And then uh, the net volume of difference as well as the average net thickness of difference of change uh, within the um, within the, ele uh, the two digital elevation models. So that was a brief introduction to the River Bathymetry Toolkit within the CHAMP program. <laughs>